Hello, I'm Sharendria Robinson, and I'm the president of Clear Vision Seminars and Consulting. Many of you look at me on the camera, and I want to say thank you for watching my videos. But today, I want to take a minute and talk about the person behind the camera. Probably going to make him blush right now by saying all these wonderful things about him. But many of you know uh, the person behind the camera is my husband, Marcus Robinson. Earlier today, Marcus asked me a question. And he's always asking me these questions to challenge me. But he asked me, when are you going to record your next video? I felt that we had been recording several videos over the past couple of days. And so I told him, I don't want people to get tired of watching the videos, so let's just lay off a minute. And I don't want to record any videos today. His comeback was very interesting. He asked me, do you have something to say? Well, of course, I always have something to say. And he said, this is what you love to do, and I'm paraphrasing, and you have something to say, then you should record a video. I had to take that in because I think about the people that I know who they don't have a supportive spouse. And one thing I can say is that my husband is very supportive of me and I believe he feels the same way, that I'm very supportive of him and everything that he's doing. We believe that it's very important to support each other. Unfortunately, many do not have the support, whether it's in a marriage or in a committed relationship. If you are in any type of leadership, management, um, pastoring, any type of leadership position, and you are married or you're in a committed relationship, you definitely have to have the support of your spouse. You have to have that support. Marriage is not a competitive sport. Marriage is a team sport. Let me say it again. Marriage is not a competitive sport. Marriage is a team sport. I'm not here to compete against my husband. He's not here to compete against me. He is my biggest fan. He pushes me, he holds me accountable even when I don't want to be held accountable. But if I have shortfalls, if I don't quite reach my goals, he's right there to help and to support me. Not there to kick me when I'm down or to say, I told you so. He's there to lend me a helping hand and in return, when he's in the same situation, I'm there to lend him a helping hand. I want you to take some time and have a serious conversation with your spouse. Talk about your hopes, your dreams, and your aspirations. If you're dating or if you're engaged, have these conversations now with that individual. Make sure that they're going to be supportive of you in your next venture in life. Make sure they can be supportive of what it is that God has called you to do. There's nothing worse than going out and being beat up by the world and feeling as if you have to fight to get ahead in the world and then coming home and having to do the same thing. When you come home, you should have someone who's cheering for you, someone who's patting you on the back, someone who said, great job, regardless of how your day is gone. You didn't achieve all your goals today? Okay, honey, let's achieve them tomorrow. You need someone on your team. You need someone in your corner. And if you're a spouse and you know that you haven't been as supportive as you need to be of your husband or your wife, pray about that. Talk about it, sit down, go to counseling if you need to, but I urge you to please get on the same page. Get on the same page. There's so much more you can do together than you could do apart. Again, this is Sharendria Robinson. I hope this helped someone today. And if you enjoyed, as always, I ask you to please share this video with others. Thank you and have a great day.